Hello, everyone. This is Keith Schmitz with Grassroots North Shore and Milwaukee Democratic Action, welcoming you to our very first in our series of presentations called Mythbusters. As you are probably aware, there's been so much gaslighting that's been going on thanks to the right wing and Donald Trump that we could probably illuminate this entire country in a given night. Out there, they have pumped out so many lies, which we call, in polite circles, myths, that we need a way to fight back, and this is one way that we're going to do it. We are intending to make you smarter when it comes to various topics around politics, economics, and society. And when you do get into discussion with your friends or your neighbors or your relatives about these issues, they will come away much smarter. With us, we have my friend Bill Hollihan, who's Professor Emeritus in Economics at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, who will be talking about the Bush economy. So, before we get into the topic, I just wanted to let you know that we encourage you to leave your comments in the comments section, and we will be very glad to answer them uh, you know, subsequently. So, Bill is going to give us some information about what the realities are regarding the current economy in this country. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Thank you, Keith, for the opportunity to share with you uh, some data from the George W. Bush uh, the Obama and the Trump years with regard to uh, unemployment. Um, if we were to uh, open up the slideshow, we'd call this a closer look at unemployment during the Obama and uh, Trump years. Here we have a graph brought to us by Fred. Fred is Federal Reserve Economic data um, on the horizontal axis we have the years the final years of the um, Bush administration all the way up to today and on the vertical axis we have the percent unemployment rate going from zero uh, up to 15 uh, within the graph we have a blue line. That's the line that shows the unemployment rate uh, rising dramatically um, and then falling, 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 and then lately skyrocketing. So as you can see in the legend here, that's the, the unemployment rate. Uh, I've added a couple of vertical lines. Here is the line, this green line showing uh, the date that President Obama was inaugurated, that would be January 20th uh, of 2009. This red line is the date that President Trump was inaugurated, January 20th, 2017. So we can see if we follow the blue line here in the final years of the Bush administration, the unemployment rate uh, is rising, rising very dramatically and uh, uh, harmfully to the American people. So that on the date of inauguration, uh, the nation was losing 750,000 jobs per month. Um, then uh, in the early weeks and months of the Obama administration, of course, that trend line continued on up. It's kind of like turning a, uh, an aircraft carrier or a lake uh, freighter, uh, it, uh, if you have this kind of momentum, it's very difficult to uh, turn things around and going down. So things kept getting worse. The Obama economic uh, packages began to uh, be implemented during 2009. And um, the, uh, it was called the American uh, Reinvestment and Recovery Act, uh, ARRA. And when that was uh, implemented throughout the remainder of 2009, it began um, the downward sloping portion of our curve. And you can see uh, as the Obama years unfolded, the unemployment rate fell and on inaugural day was 
50%. Uh, uh, and this probably would have gone down much faster if Senator McConnell and his colleagues in the Republican Party had not declared their major objective not to help the American people, but to make Obama a one-term president. And of course, the way you do that is to make Obama less popular, and the way you do that is to slow down the recovery. Uh, still, the recovery was fairly robust, ending up at 4.7, and then during the Trump years, continued on down to about three and a half. Until the pandemic-related shutdown of the economy uh, in late February, early March, uh, caused the unemployment rate to skyrocket to nearly 15%. In the latest jobs report out on the 2nd of July, uh, that unemployment rate was down to 11.1. So what are the takeaways from this little video? First, when uh, President Obama was inaugurated, he inherited a raging recession with the nation losing $750,000 uh, jobs per month. Um, the economic uh, activity uh, <clears throat> sped up under the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act passed in April and implemented throughout the remainder of the year. The unemployment rate peaked uh, at around 10%, when uh, President Trump was inaugurated, the unemployment rate was back down to 4.7. So uh, Obama brought the unemployment rate down from 10 to 4.7. Um, in January of 2020, the unemployment rate stood at uh, three and a half, shooting up to 14.7 due to pandemic related shutdowns. Uh, the July jobs report uh, shows the unemployment rate back down to 11.1. In summary, Obama inherited a disastrous Great Recession, brought the unemployment rate down from 10 to 4.7. President Trump inherited a strong economy uh, and through mismanagement of the pandemic, ushered in another disastrous uh, recession. So thank you, Keith. Uh, that will end uh, this video. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Bill, for all that great information. More of this will be coming up in the, in the coming weeks as we lead up to the election. If you have some ideas about what you'd like to be uh, hear or what we can talk about, please leave them in the comment section. But until then, uh, we'd like to thank you for uh, watching us, and we look forward to uh, being with you again very soon. Enjoy your day. Thanks.